We have searched the clubs, the gyms, the personal ads, and if I'm not mistaken, we even looked in the bus station for the hottest single people in town, and we have them. They're gonna come out here, two of them will hook up, and they'll go on the big day. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Welcome to the show. I'm Mark Wahlberg. This is The Big Date. All of today's players are here because they want to hook up with a member of the opposite sex. And if they do, they have a chance to go on the really big date that we pay for. <laughs> but as you well know, temptation lurks behind every door. There is the chance that somebody could get dumped, just like real life. But let's not dwell on that. Let's meet our first player, Athena Demos, I believe is how you pronounce her name. 25-year-old criminal justice graduate. Demos? Did I say it right? Yeah, you did. Oh, good. I'm trying to make it right, you know? <laughs> so, Athena, what are you looking for in a guy? I like professional guys that are well-educated and they know how to treat a woman. Good Southern gentleman. Southern gentleman? Yeah. Really? What part of the South do you enjoy? Texas, South Carolina, Georgia? Born and raised in Texas. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, shoot howdy. <laughs> we got three guys in the back. I don't know where they're from, but maybe they've got that Southern charm, even if they're from... Well, I hope so. ...the uncultured North. <laughs> okay, let's meet the first guy. Derek Kotar. He's 25 years old. Construction worker. Derek. <laughs> Okay, Derek. You like to sail? Yes. Next guy's a 26-year-old sailing instructor named Randy Close. Yeah. Is it Randy? Hey, how are you? Okay, how are you? Hey, buddy. And finally, a 27-year-old stockbroker, Dan Yates. Dan, come on out and say hello to the team. Yeah. Is it Dan? Yeah, Dan. All right, Athena. We're going to talk to these guys, then you'll make a choice in a second. So let's hear from them. Derek? You're on a first date with a lovely lady like Athena. How do you make her feel special? Uh, good cuisine. Figure to take over to Catalina, spend a day at Catalina, go boating, something oh. like that. Cool. <laughs> wow. And he's not even the sailing instructor. <laughs> what about you, Randy? What do you do on a first date? I would take, uh, take her out on a sailboat and have a nice homemade dinner and candlelight and uh, take a nice cruise on the bay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. What about you, Dan? Any boating in your plans? Uh, not anymore. Uh, it's tough competition. I, uh, I like dinner by the sea in a restaurant. Maybe a walk along the ocean, holding hands, Aww. looking in each other's Aww. eyes. Aww. That's nice. Well, it sounds like it's going to be somewhat of a seafaring coastal sort of date no matter where you go. <laughs> <laughs> if you head out with Derek, a little cruise to Catalina, whining, dining, walking around the island. Randy is a sailor. Well, so to speak, a sailing instructor. He's going to take you out on the boat around the bay and a homemade dinner, which could be SpaghettiOs, but they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you cook? I do cook. Oh, okay. Because for me, cooking is SpaghettiOs, synonymous. Sp yeah. SpaghettiOs is great. It's my they're favorite. delicious. So Dan, uh, Dan says, you know, he's not going to take you out on the water, but you'll walk by the water and you'll sit in an actual restaurant so the food will be actually edible. Okay? So, which one of these guys do you want to get to know a little bit better? <laughs> Dan. You're going with Dan. Yeah. Dan, come on up. Hello, Dan. What is it about Dan that you like? Um, I like his, he seems to have a very gentle nature, and that's something that I always look for in a man. Are you gentle, Dan? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> for this purpose, uh, purpose only, right? <laughs> okay, guys, put your hands on those buttons, and here's what's going to happen. I'll read you some questions. If your answers match twice, you are our first lucky couple, and you may be going on that big day. Okay, gentle Dan? First question, finish this statement. The first thing I do when I get in my car is A, buckle up my seatbelt, or B, crank up the radio. Oh. Safety first, huh? Yeah. Then the radio. Then the radio. Okay, you didn't match, but let's try another one, see if you guys can get some chemistry going. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm concerned too. <laughs> You're sleeping with the sexiest person on earth, and then you discover they're married. Do you, A, live for today and worry about it later, or B, kick the two-timer out of bed? <laughs> Can't do married. Can't do married. No. That's... Athena, however, feels a little bit differently about that. <laughs> you gotta have fun. Gotta have fun? Yeah. By the way, yeah, as far as you're concerned, you're not married. Yeah. So what does it matter? They're the ones getting divorced. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Here I stand between Gentle Dan and Homewrecker Athena. <laughs> no match on those guys, so have a seat. We'll try again. Sorry. Aww. Have a seat, Dan. Derek, you're up. Yeah. 
Got to find the compatible couple. We can't send you out in the world if you're not compatible. Unfortunately, Dan and Athena weren't clicking. Your chance, Derek. You may want to choose Athena, but there are two other ladies I'm going to introduce you to. Then you make a choice. Say hello to Sherry Eckert, 25-year-old marketing rep. Sherry. <laughs> Sarah Simpson is here. Sarah is a 21-year-old club manager. Sarah, come on out and say hello. Oh, she don't. Let's hear a little something from Sarah and Sherry, then you'll make your choice because you've already met Athena. Sarah, if you're on a first date with a guy like Derek here, how do you make him feel special? Just take him out and have a really good time. There's never a dull moment with me. <laughs> how about you, Sherry? What do you like to do to make a guy feel kind of special on a date? Um, I like to take him out and have a good time. I'm fun, spontaneous, and I'm easy to please. Well, you heard a little something from Athena, so you know what she's about. She may be the girl for you. Sarah says she's fun, she'll take you out, and you'll have a terrific time. And then you get that same thing with Sherry, except she says she's low maintenance. <laughs> easy to please. So what you try? I'll try Sherry, please. Sherry, come on up, Sherry. What is it about Sherry that made you choose her? Fun, easy to please. You know, I'm not looking for a girl who wants the world. Just, you know, have a good time. There you go. That's you were it. hooked to the low maintenance sort of thing. That's now. it. Yes, sir. Two right answers, two uh, matching answers, actually. There's really no right or wrong. But if you match twice, you're our first lucky couple. Finish this statement. I think people who like to be handcuffed in bed are A, sick and twisted, or B, fun and creative. Really? Not into the handcuff thing there, Sherry? No, I don't think so. No? <laughs> I'm more of a romantic. Oh, you are? Yeah. What if the handcuffs were heart-shaped? <laughs> well, maybe. Okay, I'm just, just opening the mind. Let's try another one. You didn't match, but let's try one more time. Which would be a bigger thrill for you? A, sitting in the front seat of a roller coaster. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Or B, spying on your cute neighbor undressing in the window. Excellent job. Now you're rolling. Now you may want to, you know, stay with this relationship. It may work. It's your choice, though, Sherry. You can stay with young Derek. You guys have now started to get the answers right. Mm -hmm. But Randy's over here. He's a sailing instructor, and he could be the guy for you. Of course, there's Gentle Dan. <laughs> Might be more your taste, okay? Randy! Which one of these guys do you want to get to know a little bit better? Randy! You want to stay here? Or stay for Randy or Dan? I think I'll stay. You want to stay? Yeah. What is it about Derek that makes you want to stay with him? He's a really nice guy. He picked me. <laughs> <laughs> it's that validation thing. You Karma picked works, yeah. yeah. Karma too. works. Yeah. It comes back, doesn't it? <laughs> One more right answer and you guys are together. Someone offers you a million dollars to sleep with your mate. Do you, A, turn down their offer? Or B, turn down your bed? <laughs> For a million dollars. You're dating some girl and things are working out pretty well and you're, you're, you're in love. But a million dollars. You're not going to do it. Love is better than money, in my That's book. it, Derek. Excellent. <laughs> Unfortunately, you didn't match on that one. You got two wrong answers, so have seats. Sorry. <laughs> Sherry, by the way, was li re really looking for the cash. She's saying, the guy's going to come back to me anyway. I got a bank account. It's all good. Dan, you've got to rescue us, my friend. You're up. Come on up. Come on, Dan. <laughs> Help us, Dan. We need a couple. <laughs> you know all these ladies better than their family knows them. Which one would you like to get to know just a little bit? Yeah. Athena? Yeah. Come on up, Athena. Try it again. I'm going to give it another shot. I like that. Two right answers and you are there. Good luck. Put your hands on the buttons there, bud. Finish this statement. I think people who buy motivational tapes are A, on the road to success, or B, suckers. Oh, no. No luck. You wouldn't buy one of those, huh? No. We'll try another one here. Good luck. We're giving out awards today. Just wanted to let you know. <laughs> Which would you more likely win yours for? A, making money, or B, making love? You, you gonna make a choice? I'm gonna, oh, right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's my job. Oh. 
Now, see, this is a drag because you're better at making money. She's better at making love. Together, you'd be a terrific, happy, love-making, rich family. I'm good at spending money. You're good at spending money. Unfortunately, <laughs> you guys better be good at sitting I down because like that's love. too wrong. Sorry. Uh. Sorry. Sherry, come on. Your chance now. Hi, right, Sherry. Get right to the point. Derek, Randy, or Dan, which one do you want to get to know? I'm going to go for Randy this time. All right, Randy. Come on, buddy. Two right answers. You're sailing around the bay. Ready? Which is a more likely reason women go to the bathroom in groups? I really, I'm waiting for this answer. A, to share their makeup, or B, to share some gossip. Is it true? Is that what you're doing there? Yes. Secrets out. It's true. All right. They got one right answer. If you want to stay together and get the next one right, you're our first lucky couple. And I got to tell you, we'll cheer. Your choice, though. Would you like to stay with Sherry or dump her for one of these other ladies over here? Sherry. You stay with Sherry. All right. Here we go. He's made his choice. Which would you say is a bigger turn off in a date, okay? Someone who is A, way too blabby, or B, way too flabby. There we go. Congratulations. You did it. Nice. That's our first happy couple. We take a quick break when we come back. We're going to try to find another happy couple right here on the big date. Bye now. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the big date. I'll tell you something. It wasn't easy, but finally, we got a little chemistry going with Sherry and Randy, who hooked up a little later on. That's like, yeah. How's it going back? How's it going here? Everything all right? Perfect. Thumbs up? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Two. Planning your sailing routes? Yeah, we're planning our charts. We got our chart. In Excellent. Place, so. You got to chart it. Don't mm -hmm. want to get lost at sea. I saw that sitcom went on for six years. All right, who's up? I think we go with Derek. Come on up. Derek, my friend, you have met the lovely Athena. Not a lot of chemistry then, then, but maybe now things have changed. Perhaps. Sarah is here. Could be the woman of your dreams, too. Maybe it'll work now. Behind the door is a lady who could fill that seat or the seat next to you in your car on your first date. What are you going to do? Give me a choice, Sarah. Sarah. Yes. Come on up, Sarah. Why'd you pick Sarah? Very pretty. Nice eyes. Nice smile. Nice eyes. Nice smile. Very pretty. There you have it. There you go. Would you like to see the lady you didn't pick? Sure. All right, I'll show you now. Okay. All right, who's our mystery lady? It's Soggy Maraki. Hi, Soggy. You didn't pick Soggy, but maybe later we'll all have a chance. Hi, Soggy. Hi. Welcome. All right, guys, finish this statement. The last time I slept with someone, it was A, a little piece of heaven, or B, a living hell. Little slice of heaven, was it? Little there? slice of heaven. That's nice. A little slice is just enough, isn't just it? Just enough. Not little too much. Piece of hell too is little. Way too much. Way isn't far it? too much. All right. One more right answer. You guys are our second lucky couple, but it's your choice, Sarah. You want to stay with Derek? Or is Dan Moore kind of the guy you want to be with? I'll remind you. See, we have some empty seats. Behind the door could be the perfect Sarah guy. Your choice. You want to stay with Derek? What is it about Derek that you like? Everything, deep brown eyes and clean cut. Clean cut? Yeah. Would you like to see the guy back there that you didn't pick? Yeah. yeah. Let's bring him out. Who's the guy back there? Come on out. Mystery guy, Don Elliott. There he is. Hi, Don. Hello. Okay. Get this one right. You guys are our second lucky couple. What's a bigger turn off in a date? Okay. A, flaky dandruff, or B, flaky behavior? You don't like the stretching, huh? Congratulations, you guys. You're our second lucky couple. There we go. That's some luck. We've got two couples now. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll find out which one of these couples gets to go on the big date. See you in a minute. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the big date. Two fine couples that have survived the first half of the show. Now we're going to find out which one of these couples really has a chance to make it in life. We'll set them free. It's kind of a catch and release program we have here. See if they're compatible. We've got Randy and Sherry over here on my left. Sarah and Derek on my right. You can clap for Sarah and Derek. They're nice people. 
What is up with that? <laughs> All right. We're going to find out who's most compatible. I'm going to read you some statements. If the statements I read are true about you, every time it's true, you say, yeah, he's talking about me. Hold up the card that says appropriately, me. <laughs> if it's not true about you, hold up the sign that says not me. All right. If you match with your partner, that's a good thing. The couple that matches the most moves on to the next round, and then you win El Grande Date. That's for our international viewers, okay? <laughs> me or not me, I have marched in a parade. Yeah. Really? What parade did you march in, Derek? St. Patrick's Day. Really? As what? As a drunken fool. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> was it a regiment of drunken fools? Or oh, just that it was. That oh, it was, that's yes. cool. What parade were you in, Sarah? I don't even remember what it was called. So you were a drunken fool also. <laughs> yeah. No, no, not at all. Okay. <laughs> me or not me, I always carry breath freshener on a date. <laughs> None of you, you're all confident about this. Sherry, where do you keep your breath freshener? In my purse, I carry gum. You carry gum, yeah. just in case. <laughs> me or not me, I have cried at a wedding. You don't get choked up at a wedding, Derek. I've only been to one, and it, he, he was going off to his doom, so how can you cry, you know? <laughs> was that before or after the Drunken Fool Parade? Well, that was after. He was in the Drunken Fool Parade with I me, guess. actually. It was death of a cool guy. Me or not me, I think dimples are sexy. Yeah. You have them. A little, bit, a little bit like that. Me or not me, I think Madonna will make a good mother. <laughs> me or not me, I average at least one date a week. Oh. Oh. Wow. But is your average below that or above that? Probably right below, just in between, you know. Really? Yeah. So it's kind of like get in there, you know. 0.8 dates a week or something like that? Something like that, yeah. I see. Me or not me, I think the best time to have sex is in the morning. Oh. <laughs> Well, we have a little problem here. <laughs> you, you're, you're into the morning thing? Yeah. Okay. Before or after teeth brushing? I don't care. They don't have to kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We have winners right over here. Give them a round of applause. Derek and Sarah, congratulations. That was quite an answer, wasn't it? We'll take a quick break, ponder that thought, and we'll be right back and find out how big their big date's going to be after this. That was excellent. Man, we've been having a great time up here on the stage, and, and you're sitting at home on the couch saying, oh, I want to play. Well, you can. You can be part of the fun here on USA's brand new hit comedy game show, The Big Date. All you got to do is visit the L.A. area, or maybe you live here. Give us a call at 213-468-1283. You can play right here. You might end up going to Jamaica. You're going to go on a big date. We're going to pay for it. It's a good thing. Look, I got empty seats everywhere. I need you. Please call. I miss you. A promotional fee has been paid by the following. If you or someone you know has herpes, then this is important to watch because the product I'm going to share with you is guaranteed to work. It's called Azurex. There is no cure for herpes, but there is something guaranteed to stop outbreaks, provide soothing relief, and accelerate healing. In this attack pack, there are five individual swabs. They are easy to carry and easy to use. Just snap it to activate it. If you feel an outbreak coming on, apply Azurex after that first tingle and immediately feel the relief. So if you're looking for something that's powerful, natural, and really works, then order Azurex now. Welcome back. We had a whole lot of people, but Derek and Sarah whooped them all. Now they're a couple. Give them a round of applause. Sarah, here's a little something about Derek. Tell me true or false. $50 if you're right. Thanks. True or false, Derek is terrified of heights. True. Think that's true? Derek? It's true. It is true. <laughs> you too. I heard it. 50 bucks. So on your date, you'll be bungee jumping. No, oh, yeah. Kidding. True or false, Sarah owns a pet hamster named Jesse. True. Think that's true? Yeah. Sarah? False. 
Oh. I have an iguana named Jesse. You have an iguana named Jesse. <laughs> Not quite a hamster. The iguana eats hamsters named Jesse. That it does. Okay. All right, so you're one and one. True or false, Derek once threw a drink in his date's face. True. Remember, he was the marching drunken fool. Right. Derek? It's true. It is true. <laughs> there you go. Two right, 100 bucks. That's better. True or false, Sarah has a tattoo on her back of two naked Chinese guys. False. Think that's false? Sarah? True. Damn. Oh. All right, how many right? Two right, 100 bucks. Let's get a little bit more going here. Good luck. True or false, Derek once made love on a Greyhound bus. False. False? It's true. It's true? <laughs> true or false, Sarah had an affair with her boyfriend's brother. True or false, Derek? False. I think that's false, Sarah. Unfortunately, it's true. No. Damn. <laughs> that was years ago, years and years ago. Years and years ago. <laughs> it's years ago. He was eight. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey guys, you, you're not eligible for the trip to Jamaica, but you did get two, right? Give him a round of applause. Come on. Right up here. Two right. I would have hoped to see you get a little bit more money, but a hundred bucks, you can do something with that. What kind of date are you going to go on with a hundred dollars? Well, he's just here from Canada, so how about Disneyland? He's never Disneyland. Yeah. Great. That's cool because on a hundred dollars, you can get in and have a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll have a great time at Disneyland. Happiest place on earth. Let's bring everybody else back from backstage. Thanks. I hope you had a good time. They're off to Disneyland. I think they'll have a good time. They seem to kind of fit together. You can see them smiling at each other in the commercial breaks. We'll see you tomorrow right here on The Big Day. Bye now. Provided by Bernini.